Tonight's lesson is lesson 13.4, find the unknown measures. Essential question is, how can you find an unknown measure of a rectangle given its area or perimeter? Tonight we'll be working on page 253 in your Go Math book. Okay, for tonight's lesson, we're going to be finding the unknown measure. So that means that they're going to be giving us some clues, and we have to figure out what the missing measure is. So let's look at this number one on page 253. It says that for this rectangle, the perimeter equals 54. There's our first clue. The perimeter equals 54. Remember, the perimeter is the distance around the shape, okay? And to find the perimeter, we have to add up all of our measures, all of our sides. And remember, there's a formula that we can use to do that. We've learned length plus width plus length plus width, and we've also said that we can do two times the length plus two times the width. So there was different ways that we can figure out the perimeter. Okay, now that we remember how to figure out the perimeter, and they've given us the perimeter here, we can look at our other clue. That is telling us that they've given us our length. Our length is 20 feet. So there's one clue. So if I know that this length is 20 feet, then the opposite length would be 20 feet also. So, so far, I'm figuring out that 20 feet for the length and 20 feet for the top length also. Okay, now let's see. Remember, my goal is everything that I add up, all the sides of my rectangle will add up to 54. So let's see how much we have so far. If I have 20 feet for my length and another 20 feet for my length, if I add that up, then I'll have 40 feet. So, so far between the two 20 foot lengths, 20 feet lengths, I have 40 feet. So now I need to think, remember my goal is to get to 54. What is the difference between 54 and 40? Well, I can subtract and I will find what I need left to get to 54. So if I have 54 minus what I have so far, which is 40, I can subtract and I will get 14 for my difference. So that means that between these two sides is 14 feet. Now, one side is not 14 feet. I have to split that 14 feet between these two sides. So I need to think, okay, if I split my 14, I'm really saying 14 divided by my two sides. So 14 divided by two. Well, 14 divided by two, I know is seven feet. So my width for this side would be seven feet. And I would have, I know that the opposite has to be the same thing, seven feet because it's a rectangle. And seven plus seven is 14. So now I know that the missing unknown measure was seven feet. Well, I can check my answer to see if it's right. How I would check is I could add up all of my sides, my lengths and my widths, and when I get done, I should get 54. So let's try that out. Well, remember, I know that 20 plus 20 is 40, and seven plus seven is 14. So if I add 40 plus 14, I would get 54, which is the perimeter that they told us. So I am right. The unknown measure was 7 feet. Okay, let's look at number 2 in your Go Math book. It says find the unknown measure of the rectangle. Now let's look at the clues that they give us. They told us that the perimeter is 42 meters. Now I'm thinking, okay, they gave me the perimeter. I remember that to find the perimeter, it's length, length plus width plus length plus width. I'm adding up all of my sides. So they gave me nine meters, okay? I know that if this side, my width is nine meters, I know that this will be nine meters as well. So let's see what we have so far. Remember, our goal is to get to 42. We need to add our nine plus our nine. 
9 plus 9 is 18. So between the two lengths that I have so far, I have 18. Now, I need to get to 42. So let's see how many it's going to take me to get from 18 to 42. We need to subtract 42 minus 18. Well, 2 minus 8, I need to borrow from my 4 tens and make this 3 tens. And then I need to make this 12. 12 minus 8 is 4. 3 tens minus 1 tens is 2 tens. So 24 is the difference. That means between my two lengths, it's going to be 24. But I have two lengths. I need to split that 24 into two. So I need to think something plus something, and it has to be the same number, equals 24. Or I can also say 24, I need to divide that into two sides. Well, I know that 24 divided by 2, if I count by 2's, when I say 24, I will be at 12. Because 12 plus 12 is 24. So my unknown measure is 12 meters. But I'm not sure. Let me check my answer. Now remember, to find the perimeter, you have to add up all your sides. Now, they're telling me that the perimeter is 42, so when we add up all of our sides, we should get 42. I know that 9 plus 9 is 18, and 12 plus 12 is 24. So let me add my 18 and 24. I know that 8 plus 4 is 12, and 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4. Four. Yep, I got 42 meters, just like they told me here. So my unknown measure was 12 meters. Okay, let's look at number three. It says find the unknown measure of the rectangle. Now we need to figure out, we want to find this measure. We need to find this part of our rectangle. So let's see the clues that they've given us. Oh, they t they're telling me that the area, that's important, the area is 28 square centimeters. Now I'm thinking, well, how do I find the area of a rectangle again? I remember the formula. It's area equals base times height. So that means that I have to multiply my base times my height, and when I do that, I will get 28. They've given us a clue. Another one. Our base is 4 centimeters. So 28, which is our area, they told us down at the bottom, equals my base is 4 times something else. That's what we're trying to figure out, this missing um, measurement, the height. So we need to find the height. Well, 4 times something equals 28. Well, I know that 4 times 7 equals 28. So if 4 times 7 equals 28, then seven centimeters must be my unknown measure. So your unknown measure for the area was seven centimeters for number three. Okay, number four says find the unknown measure of the rectangle. Now I see my rectangle. Now let's see what the clues that they give us are. Now they're telling me that the area equals 200 square inches. Oh, so they gave me the area. Remember, area equals base times height. Okay, so that means that 25, which is my height, they've given me that, times the base, which I don't know what the base is, will equal 200. So something times 25 is going to equal 200. Well, remember, We've talked about 25 is a number, is a compatible number, isn't it? Way back when we talked about estimating. And when I see 25, I should think about quarters because I'm thinking about 25 cents. So I'm going to think, I know that four quarters is 100 so cents. So if I did 25 times four, so if I had four quarters and each one was worth 25, I would get 100. So I'd have 100. Well, I need to get to 200, right? 
Well, I know that if I have another four quarters, that would be eight quarters, and then I would have 200 cents. Let's try it out and see if it works. So if I have 25 cents times eight of those quarters, let's see how many cents I would have. Five times eight, well, that's 40. I need to regroup my four tens. Eight times two is 16, plus four would be 20 tens. So yep, I got 200. So I know that eight times 25 is 200. So that is my missing measurement. That's my base, eight inches. So that's what I would have for my missing measure of my rectangle. Okay, let's go on to number five. It says Susie is an organic vegetable grower. The perimeter of her rectangular vegetable garden is 72 yards. The width of the vegetable garden is nine yards. How long is the vegetable garden? So what I'd like you to do is we're gonna draw a rectangle to show her vegetable garden because it says that she has a rectangular vegetable garden. Now they told me that the perimeter equals 72 yards. So now they gave me the width of her vegetable garden. It's nine yards. So if I know that nine yards is over here, we have nine yards on this side. We need to know how long the vegetable garden is. So we need to find the length of the vegetable garden. So what we need to do is if we need to get to 72 yards, remember to find the perimeter, we had to add all of our sides up together. So we have to add up all our sides and we would have gotten 72. So far I have nine and nine. So I know that nine plus nine is 18. So, uh, so far I have 18 yards. Well, I need to get to 72 yards. So if I subtract 72 minus 18, I will get my difference. So let me go ahead and subtract 72 minus 18. I'm going to need to borrow and regroup over here. So I should have a difference of 54. So Remember, 54, I have to split that 54 between the two sides. Okay, so I need to split 54 between two sides. So really, I'm saying 54 divided by two sides. Well, we can divide, we can do our subtract and record for this question. So what I'd like you to do is pause the video, figure out what 54 divided by 2 is, and then press play so we can go over our answer. Okay, if you would have done your repeated subtraction just like I did here, so check your work if you did not get the same answer, but you should have gotten 27 because 54 divided by 2 is 27. So that means that each side, each length, was 27 yards. So remember our perimeter was 72, so 9 plus 9 is 18, and 27 plus 27 would be 54, and 18 plus 54 would be 72, which would be the perimeter. Okay, let's look at number six from our problem solving question. It says an artist is creating a rectangular mural for the Northfield Community Center. The mural is seven feet tall and has an area of 84 square feet. What is the length of the mural? So what I want you to do is draw me a rectangle next to your problem, and then on the side going up, I would like you to draw seven feet or write seven feet because that's how tall it is. That's the height. So what we're missing is the base, and it tells me that the area is 84. So you can put an 84 in the middle of your rectangle. Now, I would like you to find me the base of this uh, rectangular mural. So pause the video, press play when you're ready to go over the answer. Okay, let's go over our answer. Well, I need to figure out something times seven equals 84. Well, I know that 12 times seven equals 84. So my base would be 12 feet because seven times 12 equals the area of 84. 
Okay, here are your homework questions for tonight. Number one says the area of the rectangular photograph is 35 square inches. If the width of the photo is 5 inches, how tall is the photo? So right here I drew a diagram and this should help you answer the question. Now remember, they gave us the area. So let's look at number two. Natalie used 112 inches of blue yarn as a border around her rectangular bulletin board. Border and around mean perimeter. So if the bulletin board is 36 inches wide, how long is it? So we need to find what the length of our two sides are if the perimeter is 112. Now, for, remember that you're going to have to answer the rest of the problems on this page. And for number six, you're going to need to simplify your answer to find it as one of your choices. Don't forget to assess yourself at the top of your Go Math page. Here are your homework questions tonight, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!